every family make cookies on the first snow day of the year? No, not every family. Making cookies on the first snowfall is just our family's tradition. A tradition? What's that? Traditions are the things people do year after year on special days. Well, I think our tradition is delicious. <laughs> Oh, wow. I, uh, did I sleep late today? <laughs> hey, wait a second. Something is different out here, but what is it? Oh. <laughs> I knew I'd figure it out. It's snowing! Oh, wow, wowie! Oh, go kazawi! Oh, I'm so happy! Yippee zoom! Yippee zoom! Yippee zoom! Oh, yippee! This has got to be the greatest day of the year! <laughs> Wait a second! Where is everybody? Clifford and Jorge and Flo and So? Those guys would love this! Oh, I gotta tell them! Hey, a normal? Hey, you little redness! So, have you guys seen what it's like out here? It's a regular winter wonderland! I know, I know, it's great! Hey, listen up, pup. Go get your muffler and meet me down in the courtyard. It's time for some serious snow play. Aw, oh, gee, Narvo. I can't right now. See, we have a first snowfall tradition. First we make cookies, and then we decorate them, and then we eat them. And we're right in the middle of the decorating and eating part now. Oh, yeah, wow, that, that sounds great. That's, oh, yeah, okay. So, well, well done, we could play in the snow later. What first snow traditions do you have, Norval? Me? Oh, well, you know, I all kinds of things. In, in fact, uh, I have so many first uh, snowfall traditions that you would get bored just hearing me name all of them. <laughs> wow, it sounds like you're even busier today than we are. Oh, ten times busier. Yeah, lots and lots of traditions. I, in, in fact, I can't even believe that I asked you to play in the snow because I don't really have time today, after all, with, you know, with all those traditions and, and stuff. So, thanks a lot for reminding me there, Little Red. Well, I better get started. Okay, well, bye, Norval. Have fun. I guess Clifford and Daffodil will be really busy today. Oh, but I'll bet Jorge will want to play. Hola, Norville. Hey there. Hi, oh, Jorge. It's snowing! Yeah, so what do you say that we make a gigantic snowman out in the courtyard? Like, come on, I'll meet you down by the slide. Oh, I'm sorry, Norville. I'd love to make a snowman with you, but I can't today. Oh, well, come on, why not? At my home, we always celebrate the first snowfall by making snow decorations. It's kind of our family... Tradition, right? Right. It's our winter tradition. Doesn't the apartment look nice? Oh, yeah, well, it, it, it looks nice. But if you, want, if you want to see some really nice decorations, you should come by my nest later. No, oh, really? You make snow decorations too? Who doesn't? I make so many decorations every year, I don't even know where to hang them all. Wow! I would love to come see that. Uh, maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow? Oh, yeah, well, then maybe. Yeah, yeah, sure. I have to go check my calendar. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll see you later, Norville. Bye-bye there, Jorge. Oh, well. Oh, hey. Flo and Zo, they're always ready for snow time anytime. Snow is falling and it's on the ground and it's in the treetops too. It's there in the windows, it's there on the street, making everything look brand new. <laughs> okay, kittens, you wait right here. I'm going to go get you some milk and then I'll play us another song. Hey, Norval. Hey, 
Hey, Zo and Flo, my cuddly kitten companions. How about Happy Snow Day? How about Happy Snow Day to you too, Norval? What's going on? How would you two like to help me build the biggest snowman ever? That sounds great. Really? Sure. We'll meet you right outside first thing tomorrow. T -t tomorrow? Oh, yeah, but I was I was talking about today. Well, we can't do it today. It's the first snowfall. Oh, let me guess. You have first snowfall traditions, too. We sure do. Of course you do. Every year, Mr. Solomon sings songs. And we dance. Oh, oh well, don't worry, you know. I'm, I mean, I'm not even sure that I had time anyway. I mean, you should see all the special things I do for the first snowfall. Really? Like what? I bake cookies. And then I make decorations, and I sing songs, and I dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, my feet go crazy. And and then I, you know, I mean, you name it, I do it. Wow, that sounds like fun. Mmm, I smell milk. Ooh, we've gotta go. Have a great first snowfall, Norva. Same to you. Bye bye. Okay. So maybe I don't really have any first snowfall traditions. But hey, what better time than now to start a new tradition? Okay, traditions, traditions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got it. My first snowfall tradition will be to make my own giant snowman. <laughs> Okay, so there's the body of my giant snowman, and now for the head. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. Okay, so well then, it could just stay where it is for now. <sighs> Two eyes. A stick nose. Some buttons. There, it's a snowman taking a nap. Oh, what's the use of having a tradition if you have no one to share it with? This is no fun. Let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you something. This is no fun at all. Huh? Hey! Hey, Daffodil, did you see Norval at the window? Huh. I wonder why he didn't wave to us. Or say hello. Hmm. It's not like Norval not to say something. Wow. Norval said he had lots of things to do today, but it doesn't look like he has any for snowfall traditions after all. I know. Well, why isn't he doing anything special? I guess it's because when Norval does special things, he usually does them with us. Oh, you're right, Daffodil. And we've all been inside all day. Oh, wait a minute. I got a big idea. If Norval can't be a part of our first snowfall tradition, then we'll bring the tradition to him. <laughs> That's the spirit, Clifford. <laughs> Come on. Snow is falling and it's on the ground. And it's in the treetops too. Hey, what are you all doing out here? Well, we decided to move our first snowfall celebrations outside. Uh-huh. That way we can all be together. Is that okay with you, Norval? Okay. Oh, it's not just okay. It's fantastic! <laughs> you know, well, to tell you the truth, everybody, I, I was getting a pretty lonely out here all by myself. Then why didn't you tell us the truth from the very beginning? You could have just said you don't have a first snowfall tradition. Well, I, I guess I just didn't want to ruin everybody else's fun. But, Norval, we're not going to have any fun if we know you're not having any fun. Hey, thanks, Little Red. I should have told you all the truth this morning. And we should have realized you were all alone sooner. So now we're starting a brand new tradition. A, a new tradition? Yeah. From now on, every first snowfall, we're coming outside to celebrate with you. And we brought some of our traditions to share with you, too. Oh, wow. 
Could I just say thank you very much, guys? Come on, everyone. Let's sing. Snow is falling and it's on the ground And it's in the treetops, too It's there in the windows, is it there on the street? And maybe it look brand new <laughs> 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 Read a story, Clifford? Ruff. Okay, pick one out. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. This looks like a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Vacation for Everyone. When Speckle returned from his vacation, he invited all of his friends to his house to see a movie he'd made just for them. They watched Speckle play on a sandy beach where he found a fabulous seashell that he brought back for Reba. And when he learned how to dance on a tropical island, he saved the flower necklace for Luna. They saw Speckle explore a deep green forest and pick up a pine cone just for Ravi. Then climbed to the very top of a mountain where he spotted a sparkling stone, perfect for Darnell's collection. Seeing the wonderful sights and having their very own souvenirs, Reba, Ravi, Luna, and Darnell felt like they had been on Speckle's vacation too, and they'd all had a wonderful time. <laughs> the end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. <laughs> You sure are fast, Flo. I had a head start, and you still won the race. Well, I've always been quick on my feet. You want to race again? <sighs> oh, nah, not right now. <sighs> I have to catch my breath. <laughs> Like this? <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> That's pretty good, but how about a double spin? Ta da! Oh, wow! You're a great spinner, Flo. It just takes a little practice. Hey, look over there! This is my favorite toy ever. I just learned this new trick I can do with it. Oh, really? What is it, Flo? You throw it up in the air and then you catch it. That sounds pretty easy to me. <laughs> it's harder than it sounds. Watch. <sighs> now watch me catch it. <laughs> Got it. Wow, Flo. You're really a super athlete. Do you want to try and catch it, Clifford? Okay. Ready, set, go! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got it! I think... Oh! Oh! Uh oh! Hey. <laughs> You're supposed to catch the flying disc, Clifford. It's not supposed to catch you. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not very good at this game. But that's okay. It's fun anyway. Hoo-hoo! Hey, you guys. Look. Nina gave me a new toy today. It's a bean bag. Wow. A bean bag? That's great. What do you do with it? What do you do with it? Well, you play bean bag, of course. Like this, see? <laughs> <laughs> Like that. 
boy, you're really good at beanbag, Jorge. My turn, my turn. Whoa, ha, ho, oh, yes. You're really good at beanbag too, Zoe. Now you try it, Clifford. Okay, but I'm probably not that good. You'll be fine, Clifford, give it a try. Well, okay, like this. Clifford, it never once hit the ground. You're a champion beanbagger. Nah, I don't know. Flo will probably be better than any of us. She's great at every game. Right. It's Flo's turn. Well, sure, I'll give it a toss. Hmm. Oh, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> Aha! Oops! Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Oh, man, that beanbag is broken. Broken? Definitely. It's impossible to work with. Clifford, you must have broken it. Gee, I'm sorry. Maybe I can fix it. Looks like it's working now. Well, I, I think we should play something else anyway. How about freeze tag or hide and seek? <laughs> hey, Clifford, kick it to me. Over here, hey, that's yeah. great. Over here. Me, me, me. Awesome save, buddy. Over here, Zoe. Hey, where's Flo? <laughs> Guys, I'll be right back. Hey, Flo, aren't you gonna play beanbag with us? I don't think so. But it's really fun. I could teach you how to play. It's not that I can't play, Clifford. It's that I really don't want to play. I think it's a really boring game. <gasps> you do? Sure, I'd rather play by myself than play with a silly old beanbag. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, well, uh, okay. Have fun. Hey, that's great. Pass it to me, Ooh. me, me. Okay, what should I play? Hmm. I know. I'll play freeze tag. I'm it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, I can't freeze myself. I know, I'll play hide and seek. I'm the best hider ever. Oh, this won't work. It's no good hiding unless someone's seeking. That's it! I'll play with the flying disc. That's another game I'm terrific at, and I can play it by myself. This isn't any fun. <laughs> Over here! I got it! <laughs> I know. I'll go over to the playground. I bet there are plenty of things here I can do by myself. Like the seesaw. Okay, maybe not the seesaw. I know. fun that there's no one to push you. Look out! I got it! Nice kick! <laughs> <laughs> got it! I'll 
just have to find somebody else to play with me. Hi, BV. You want to play with me? Well, I was going to join in the beanbag game. Aw, that's no fun. Come on, we could play freeze tag or hide and seek or... We could throw this flying disc and catch it. Hmm, well... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Flo, but that beanbag game really looks like fun. Why don't you play too? I'll bet you'll be really great at it. But I'm not great at it. I'm not even good. Oh, but I sure am tired of playing by myself. <laughs> uh, nice kick, Clifford. Thanks, Flo. Um, is it still all right if I play with you guys? You want to play beanbag? I thought you said it was a boring game. The truth is, I don't really think beanbag is boring. You don't? No, I'm just not very good at it. I'm usually great at the games we play, but when it comes to beanbags, I'm a total klutz. And I was embarrassed. That's why I didn't want to play. Oh, see? But you don't have to be good, Flo. The fun part is playing together. So, come on, let's play! <laughs> it is fun playing Clifford, even if I'm not that good. But I, I wish I could be just a little better. Maybe you could give me a lesson? Oh, sure, Flo. The main thing to remember is just keep your eye on the beanbag. <laughs> See? Now you try it. Hey! Hey, I've got it! I've got it! Whoa! I dropped it. Whoa! Clifford, great save! Great save, Clifford! Thanks! Ha, ah, no problem, Flo. Just think of me as your best beanbag buddy. <laughs> I will, Clifford. I will. Whoa! I got it! I got it! I got it! my toe, that's all. It's not really hurt or anything. It's just a little bit sore. But I don't really feel like running anymore. You guys go ahead and play without me. Sometimes the best way you can help a friend is to be kind. And that means being considerate of their feelings. Wait a minute. I got a big idea. Instead of playing tag, what do you say we tell stories? That way everyone can join in. Even so. What a great idea. Thanks, Clifford. I'm really happy you found a way to include me. When you take the time to be kind, you can help a friend feel better. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is be kind. Okay, I got one. Once upon a time. Oh, I love it when they start like that. 